Hello again there folks. We are at Bryce Canyon National Park. So this is the amphitheater between Sunrise and Sunset Point. And Paul and I are about to begin our descent. We're going to kind of make our own loop. We're going to start off with the Queen's Garden Trail and take a connector from that down to the um, Peekaboo Trail and then take the Peekaboo Loop all the way up to one side of the Navajo Loop. We'll choose one when we get there. Most of the reason being that the uh, part of the loop for the Navajo is closed for the winter. So we'll make our own and by that way we can also see about three trails at once instead of having to go to different trailheads and uh, kick off from each of those. So should be fun, should be an adventure and uh, about to get started. Still trying to decide how I feel about the short sleeves. It's kind of chilly, that wind is piercing, but the sun's brilliant. So, <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, gonna head down to the trailhead. So we've begun our descent down the Queen's Garden Trail and I already had to layer back up. I got cold pretty quick. So the short sleeves were short lived. But enough of that. Here is the first panorama without rails. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a call a window right there and that looks just like what it sounds like and if you're not familiar with the geological terms all these spires are called hoodoos and these structures here that kind of look like fins are called fins Now we're making the connection to the uh, Peekaboo Loop. I think the first stop is the Navajo Trail, the Navajo Loop Trail. And when we split off from that, we will take Peekaboo for 5.5 miles and then we'll loop back to the connector and we'll exit out the um, Two Bridges side of Navajo. It's just a uh, a little greener than up above. This is beautiful. The trees make a beautiful uh, addition to the landscape. A little shade too. It's kind of crazy how uh, how hot the sun can feel when it beats down directly on you, even when it's 45 degrees. But wonderful, peaceful day so far. You know, I could be the oddity here, but I feel like this, whenever I go to like the really busy national parks and places, 
that have amazing scenery, like Zion and like back there, like we were seeing. But uh, it's kind of hard to feel like you're out in the wild when it's like you know as crowded as an amusement park might be. So I was just realizing that this little connector trail here is just quiet and peaceful and wooded, and there's a natural amphitheater right there opening. I think I might be enjoying myself right now more than I did observing all the hoodoos and windows and the fins and beautiful structures. Don't get me wrong, it's gorgeous, but for me the most amazing part of being out in God's creation is the solitude and peace and wild feeling. You can hear the birds instead of people talking. The wind is rushing through the leaves of the trees. It's just fabulous. how the views of this trail just never end no matter how far you go no matter where you turn this might be quickly becoming one of my favorite trails of all time mm. just the sweeping panoramas when you look beyond the amphitheater are incredible too it just feels so small when you can stir out the ceiling so fast. There's Crocodile Polly over there. We are almost back up to the Navajo Loop Connector Trail. And even at the end, Peekaboo is not disappointing with views around every corner. Although Paul and I just came to that tunnel back there and about got knocked over by the wind going through it. Uh, Blast of wind. Crazy.
All right, we made it back to the connection with the Navajo Loop, back to the crowds, but back to the pretty sights as well. Or it's been pretty all along. So here we go, final ascent up. pretty much it for the Queen's Garden peekaboo Navajo loop that we constructed almost at the top so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and try to breathe thanks for watching as always until next time